There are a lot of jobs in Yakuza Like a Dragon, 20 to be exact, with two more being paid DLC jobs. And while I generally recommend experimenting and trying out every one to see what you like and what works best for you, some jobs are just simply better than others, and using those jobs will make your time with the game a whole lot smoother. So let's talk about what are the best jobs in Yakuza Like a Dragon. But before we get into the video, I do just want to remind you that you can find links to all of my Yakuza Like a Dragon content, including an overview of the battle system, the job system, and showcases for all non-DLC jobs, as well as more in the video description. Also, if you have any questions about Yakuza Like a Dragon, or any other games I cover, you can find me over on my Twitch channel where I stream almost every single day, or on my Discord server, both of which are linked in the video description. One last thing is I like to preface this by saying that these jobs I've chosen are based on my own personal opinions and may very well differ from your own. That being said, as of the recording of this video, I have put over 100 hours into the game on the hardest difficulty and completed all of the post-game content, so I should at least be able to point you in the right direction. But enough rambling, let's take a look at the best jobs in Yakuza Like a Dragon by going over them on a per-character basis, as in, what are the best jobs for each character, starting with the main protagonist, Ichiban. Due to Ichiban's relatively balanced stats, he can really do any job sufficiently. However, his best job is undoubtedly the hero. The hero has a lot of things going for it, but one of the most prominent ones that sets it apart from the others is that a number of its supporting abilities scale off of the human parameter-like stats that he gains as you do basically anything in the game. What this means is that the hero job essentially grows with Ichiban. Add on to that the fact that the hero gives Ichiban access to healing abilities and revival abilities, and you have a very well-rounded job that suits the main protagonist nicely. Another bonus is that a little over halfway through the game, you can obtain a weapon for the hero that allows Ichiban to deal damage in a wide area every time he uses his standard attack, something completely unique to this job. Moving on to Namba, there are actually two jobs that suit him very well, the host and the fortune teller. Namba has a high MP and magic stat, which naturally pushes him towards magic-based jobs, and it just so happens that two of the best magic-based jobs are the host and the fortune teller. The host provides Namba access to both fire and cold damage, which is nice as battles in Yakuza Like a Dragon tend to have enemies with varying weaknesses and resistances. The host also has two very good special attacks, the heat actions of this game, which deal very good magic and cold fire damage to all enemies on the battlefield. If you want Namba to assume an offensive role in your party, the host is the way to go. Conversely, if you want Namba to lean more towards support, while still being able to dish out respectable damage, the fortune teller is the way to go. As a fortune teller, Namba will gain access to abilities that let him remove status ailments from party members or revive fallen allies. The job can also hinder opponents as well, as it has the ability to inflict crippling status ailments such as fear, brainwash, seal ability, charm, and even rage. Another thing to consider is the fortune teller's magic stat, which happens to be the highest in the game. This is significant for a couple of reasons. First, it increases the potency of Namba's character abilities that he learns as he levels up. And second, the fortune teller gains access to a shock damage magic attack, which is invaluable in the later stages of the game. You really can't go wrong with either option, and in the hands of Namba, both the host and the fortune teller are about even in power level. Next we have Adachi, who, despite being a naturally tanky character, which would lead you to believe that something like the riot officer or the bodyguard would be his best job, it's actually going to be the musician. You see, the musician is an incredibly potent support job. With it, you play songs that provide beneficial effects to your party members or detrimental ones to enemies. And with each song played, you gain Voltage, a resource unique to the musician. Voltage can stack up to three times and can then be used to power up some of the musician's offensive abilities. While not a job that will see much use in random encounters around the world map, the musician is an incredibly powerful asset against bosses and other tough encounters, and you definitely want to have one on your team roster. The reason that I recommend Adachi for this is because his perceived specialty of tanky jobs like the ride officer and the bodyguard just aren't that useful in Yakuza Like a Dragon. They can work, sure, but more often than not you're better off doing something else. And when you factor in Adachi's base stats, you quickly realize that he isn't well suited for magic so that leaves him with few options. He can be a solid physical attack character, but even then there are other characters that fulfill that role far better than Adachi ever could, which leaves him with the Musician, a job that you definitely want access to, but would rather not use on your other party members. 
For Saiko, there is really only one option for her simply due to how early she joins your party relative to the other female party member, and that option is the idol. The idol is an incredibly useful job that is near mandatory on higher difficulties and against harder encounters in the game. It provides access to very good healing abilities and supportive abilities. And due to being a magic based job, the idol can restore her own HP on hit by using standard attacks, which will allow her to essentially never run out of MP. As an idol, she also gains access to one of the more potent debuffing abilities in the game, which lowers the defense of all enemies and potentially charms them. And as with every good healer, the idol has one of the better revival abilities as well. Put simply, you will want someone to be an idol, and Saiko is the first character that can do so. Next up we have Eddie. Though depending on whether or not you do the business management minigame and complete its storyline, you may not even gain access to her as she is the only optional character in Yakuza Like a Dragon. But assuming you do, you will want to make Eddie a dealer. The dealer is a fantastic job. It gains access to all three physical damage types, allowing you to adapt to most situations. And the stats of the dealer complement Eddie's own natural stats nicely, making for a character that can dish out some serious damage. Being a dealer, the job does have a bit of randomness to it, but this can largely be mitigated with job-specific accessories. Still, even with the worst outcome, the dealer will be hitting harder than most of your other party members, making it one of the best jobs for damage dealing in the game. Moving on, we have Han Jungi, the fifth party member to join you as part of the story. For him, there really is only one choice that you should consider, and that is his initial job, the Hitman. This job is ridiculous. Much like the dealer, it has access to all three physical damage types, but it can also deal shock damage as well. Add to that the fact that the Hitman has the two most efficient abilities in the game with regards to how much damage they deal versus their MP cost, access to other elements via its brass knuckles weapons, multi-hitting abilities that turn it into a critting machine, and well, you get the point. The job is awesome. The Hitman also boasts the second highest attack and the highest speed and dexterity stats in the game. And it can also use its offensive abilities defensively by going invisible to avoid telegraphed attacks or to attack at ranged in order to avoid nasty counterattacks. I really can't stress this enough, but the Hitman is phenomenal and easily the best job in the entire game. Now, you technically can make Han Jungi something else, he has the stats for it, but you really shouldn't. Finally, we come to the last party member to join you as part of the story, Cho. And honestly, he's a bit of a weird one, as his primary job, the Mafia, is very good and very hard hitting. It actually has the highest attack stat in the game, but it doesn't really bring anything new. For the most part, the job feels like an inferior hitman. However, if you followed my job showcases, then you may remember how I mentioned that the chef wasn't a very good job to begin with and needed a lot of work, or that a certain character worked well with it. Well, that character is Cho. The chef doesn't give him any extra attack avenues in terms of elements, it provides blunt slash and fire damage just as the Mafia does, however it does give him access to magic damage. And in the hands of Cho, the chef turns into a damage dealing machine as his base stats boost the chef's low attack to a very respectable level, offering a job with high attack, high magic, and high dexterity. So ultimately, you do have two options with Cho just as you did with Namba, in this case the Mafia or the chef. The Mafia will be better for random encounters around the game world, whereas the Chef is better for harder encounters against elite opponents and bosses. And there we have it, the best jobs for each character in Yakuza Like a Dragon. To recap, the hero for Ichiban, the host or fortune teller for Namba, the musician for Adachi, the idol for Saiko, the dealer for Eddie, the hitman for Han Jungi, and either the Mafia or the Chef for Cho. So I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did please be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below, or you can find me over on my Twitch channel where I stream most nights, or on my Discord server, both of which are linked in the video description. Until next time, take care.